Hey everyone, welcome to a short writing vlog. Um, today I sat down and it's around 12, or it is 12, um, heading into the afternoon. And I just finished chapter 4 in editing my, no my novel, Kyle's Purgatory. It's draft 2. Um, and I'm sitting over here almost crying at my own, own book just because of how emotional it is and I remember how emotional I was writing each chapter in each section of each chapter and yeah it's kind of hard to go back through but I am finding that I'm enjoying myself as I go back through editing pretty much only doing line edits like putting a comma here and there or crossing out a sentence and adding a different one just kind of rewriting a sentence and I feel like that's going to up the word count a bit for when I go back and do the third draft um especially since I've made notes to myself um telling myself to expand this particular thing in the next draft or even in the next book because I do think I'm going to have three books instead of two. Because um, I'm not quite sure. It depends on how, like, this book ends. Uh, um, and it depends on if I want to even make it a whole series. Because I'm thinking with how small this is, because it's 93 pages, um, I have it right here this is chapter 5 through 23 um with given how small this is i could actually fit the second and third book in and make it book one book two book three um and kind of split it up that way or i can actually make it into like a novella series but I also don't really want to do that because I don't really want to have that small of a book. So I may end up doing the book one, book two, book three all in one book. Um, I do have some people beta reading. A friend of mine on my Facebook um, page asked if her and her husband, who is an aspiring fantasy writer, can read the book and make like suggestions or comments and I was like yes I'm all for that thank you um and that was cool because I also haven't talked to her in quite a while since she got married but yeah I'm hoping that maybe I can get two more chapters two or four chapters done um so five six seven eight hopefully getting to chapter nine this weekend not all in one day just because it is one of those stories where you do have to take that break um in between each page or each chapter because for me this was how i expressed myself in 2018 and 2019 and it was just really hard mentally and it is really comforting going back to it because I'm still having a hard time because we just lost my grandparents' dog. And I've been crying ever since the day after I found out. And the day after we went over there because it hurt to see my grandparents and that crying that much because I also haven't seen my grandpa cry that much. But, or cry hardly at all because he's not the type to show his emotions um so that's kind of taken a toll on me and with losing my job on the second like going back to this is just a very good thing right now um it may or may not be good just because of how dark it is and I do feel creeped out while raining through this and yeah also, my aunt, my loving aunt, is going to help me make a book cover for this um, because she is a professional photographer 
and it's what she does for a living. If you look at her house, she has, um, like those metal back frames photos, or like those really nice, um, I don't even know what you call them, but they're like an inch thick, and it's not an actual frame that she puts them in, but when she gets them printed, she prints them on these really nice, um, kind of frames, I have no idea, but she just have, has gorgeous pictures of mountains from Lake Tahoe, or like landscape photos and family photos that we've taken over the years, and I asked her if she can help me with this, and I'm having my boyfriend model as Kyle in the photo, and when I told him that she said, said that she can help, he was like, oh boy. Like, that was the only text that I got, was, oh boy. And I was like, oh, don't worry, just do what she says, because, you know, that's her job. <laughs> she can direct you. I can just give the suggestion, suggestions on what I'd like. We already have a location, and we've got to make sure, like, it is still winter, and she's excited that I send, like, a really moody photo. can't find the words to explain things right now, but I'm excited to do that little, little mini photo shoot in the place that we're going to be shooting those at, because it does reflect the book. And yeah, so that's kind of my thoughts on it. This is like an my thoughts on editing so far type thing uh yeah also if you guys are still interested on beta reading um i don't have a time frame but just like a reasonable time frame um i do have three people beta reading this when they can so so far right now um so if you want to read this as well, let me know in the comments down below and we'll exa exchange emails or you'll send me your email and then I can send you the book straight away with the little welcome introduction. Um, it is a dark fantasy paranormal novel and it isn't really romance. Um, and I've found that as I've tried looking for a literary agent for dark fantasy and ro paranormal romance, or for paranormal and dark fantasy, um, it's only paranormal romance that agents are looking for. And dark fantasy romance. Or something that has to do with romance within the horror genre, and I don't like it. That's why I'm self-publishing this book. So I will be self-publishing Kyle's Purgatory. Probably the rest of the series and probably most of my books. Just because some of the ideas that I have. It's like, I have some ideas that are kind of like the Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure films. Um, if you even know what Bill and Ted are. It's a Keanu Reeves movie. Like, one that he did way before um, Matrix, but it's kind of like that where a lot of stupid things happen, and you just gotta go with it, um, I have two ideas that have actual plot lines, but there's going to be that kind of consistent theme of a lot of stupid things happening, and you just have to go with it, um, because that's kind of what happens in life, is you just go with the flow, and that's how I am in general, and how my writing is, is just going with the flow, so that's why I think I will be pursuing self-publishing, at least for the majority of my works. Um, actually, probably all of my works. I don't know, I've been really thinking heavily on whether I'm going to tr traditional publish or self-publish, but for like 
however long since I finished this draft. I've been looking for uh, literary agents. All of them want or require romance in the darker genres, and it's really annoying because I don't write romance. I mean, I've tried to with my Love in the Spotlight series, um, that I hardly made halfway through the first story on, and it just hasn't worked at all. I'm, I'm the type that will not write romance, but I will add a little bit of romance and then mess with that romance in a story like this. Because I just don't, I, even though I am in a romance and, or, wait, how many pages? I've gone through 24 pages so far. Um, even though I do have a relationship and it might be a bit easier now writing an actual romance and actually I do have a historical fiction romance that my mom and I came up with and it's based in our home in our town Chico where I live right now where I've always lived and one of my favorite places ever that I might be going to um today after my boyfriend and I go to lunch, might do a tour, um, I do have that story, and I may try restarting it, it I did find the, find the notebook, it's over there, because that was one of my goals for this year, was to find that notebook, um, so I do have it. But yeah, that's pretty much it before I rant on any longer. Um, I hope you guys are having a much better week than we are over here. And I hope your writing is doing well, because mine is. Um, oh, did I? I don't know. I think I did a video saying that I finished my second draft of Kyle's Purgatory in on January 5th of this year. And that's been the only good thing, like, that has been the only good thing in my writing so far this year, is finishing that and starting to edit it after a little bit. So, that is it for my video, writing video for today. Sorry, it was a bit ran rambly, but apparently I had a bit more to rant on. Um, then I thought. So I will see you in the next video.